What is up guys, this is PNT Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Um, I did make, I did try to make a video earlier today, but um, I had a person coming in to actually sort out my internet and it, I think it's getting sorted, uh, like the speed is picking up again, uh, which is always great, so um, I'm going to make a FIFA video tonight as well, I'm not sure if that's going to be out tonight or whether it's going to be out tomorrow, uh, stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, but I hope you guys like this new background I've got in the back. It's sort of green. Um, yeah, my speed is like a five megabytes. That's just terrible, but it's it's picking up. I can see. So, anyways, uh, let's just get on to, into the video. And um, yeah, we I played some friendly matches while I could on my 4G. I, I lost uh, one match three 0 and the other one I had to quit as well uh, because that was an accidental sort of. And I was talking to the guy. I was fixing the internet, so I thought you know I need to sort of speak to him and uh, instead of playing the game. Um, so yeah, this is the new deck. I've been um, suggested this deck by King Savid, and um, he's a good good guy. Um, helped me out, and he's a great supporter of the channel. So I'm gonna leave his comment somewhere on the screen. And uh, yeah, thanks thanks a lot for your suggestion. This deck works. Trust me. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work in like now as well. Uh, but let's just get carry on. So I lost 50 trophies actually, uh, just by stupid decisions, and obviously that internet connection and stuff like that. So. I think we should be back, and let's let's just try and get some uh, some of the trophies back. So playing against Ganji from uh, Wicked Nation, I think I played this guy before. I'm pretty sure I have. So Tombstone to stop elite uh, to distract these elite barbarians uh, should be alright. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna take him out nice and easy actually. Um, oh come on, come on, there we go. No shots on the tower. That's what I want. So anyways, alright. So that baby dragon should should go down from the tower. The executioner wasn't needed. Um, that was a bit of an overkill, I should say, and uh, yeah, okay, so we're doing all right, I guess. Uh, that lumberjack was gonna, he's gonna get distracted by this goblin gang, nice and easy, and then we got this bandit. Oh wow, what the hell? That lumberjack and the bandit just killed that goblin gang really, really quickly. Uh, that's a bit annoying, but anyways, all right, so we should be good. Um, I need to zap all of that nonsense. Uh, and then our tower should deal with the rest and we've got one stupid minion I'm gonna leave it because he just wasted so much elixir I'm gonna put my golem down and I've just sacrificed like 300 damage but that's okay uh, we've got a golem ready to go do some work uh, we're gonna put our executioner down uh, he does have elite barbarians which we need to keep in mind of and uh, Caref be careful of, uh, but we should be good. I think he's got okay. There we go. The lumberjack should be all right. We're gonna put some uh, some my goblin goblin gang to actually do some work to that lumberjack. Come on, take her out nicely. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And um, that band is gonna actually go down with the um, that tower. Well, the tower is gonna get done quite a bit of damage, and we actually managed to do a pretty decent push, which is I'm, I'm quite happy with. So all right. So he's a level ten, so he's gonna. Obviously going to be a little bit stronger than us uh, in in regards of his troops levels and obviously tower tower health health. So you know he, we've technically done pretty much the same damage as he has to us. So all right, we've got 60 seconds left and it's time for double elixir. We're going to put the golem down uh, to start things off nicely. Um, that stupid um, that stupid elite barbarians those stupid elite barbarians need to be taken out as soon as we can. Uh, so we're going to put these this um, goblin gang to take them out as well. And then we're going to put some minions to take out this baby dragon, hopefully, as soon as we can. There we go, nicely taken out. And I think we're going to take his tower out really quickly. Uh, we're going to put another executioner down. His tower is going to be out and taken about. Take out and taken about. Wow, uh, what a word. And uh, we're going to put a second golem in his base right now. Um, I would like to kind of let him take our left-hand side tower, but I'm not going to. Uh, if he does, fair play to him. Uh, but if he doesn't, I think that's going to be a free crown win. And uh, we've got 14 seconds to go, and actually, um, we might even win this game with a free crown. Uh, we're gonna let him take that tower out if they get to the tower. Um, but um, yeah, we're gonna win this game nice and easy, to be honest. And uh, boom! Thank you very much. That's a free crown win. That's twice I did that. Um, I actually did that in a previous video as well. The video that should have been out should have been done by now. But actually, you know, I'm not complaining. We did open some chests as well in there, but. Uh, they weren't too good anyway. So, all right, let's open up this crown chest and let's just see what we can get. Minions, elite barbarians, minions, and barbarian huts. So, all right, um, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below where should I use my sixty thousand gold? Um, should I use it on troops or should I just wait for the legendary cards to come out? 
or buy just or just buy troops or should I use them for upgrades so alright so let's just open up this chest and um, let's have one more slot open and let's just, just go into one more match and let's just see how this deck works one more time alright so we're playing against um, Tefo Verka from Protvina I guess he's Russian uh, as a level 10 28 28 28 nice number and alright so we're gonna put this golem straight away he's gonna have a big push on the left hand side which we need to somehow deal with and maybe reduce the damage uh, so we're gonna put mega minion down he's gonna fireball that that's okay and that mega minion is not gonna die and he's just gonna waste a bit of elixir to actually um to defend my golem um it's, it's gonna be a lot harder for him to, to defend it right now so hopefully he doesn't have an inferno tower if he does okay he does have an inferno tower so we need to sort of zap this uh right now boom there, there we go oh that's a bit late um, that's, that was a bit, a little bit too late, but that's okay. So we're gonna put some minions down to take out this mega minion. Hopefully, that's not gonna happen. And okay, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a tough start to be honest. Uh, like I said, again, he's a level ten, so he's gonna be a stronger, stronger player uh, to deal with. So alright, we, we've got this princess coming towards us. I'm gonna wait for her uh, when she comes a bit closer, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this tombstone down, and we're gonna put the goblin gang to take out this. Uh, Stupid princess out of the way, and uh, that got hog rider is actually getting taken out nice and easy, uh, which is great. All right, so we need to start golem push. We need the executioner behind it, and then we need to have our lightning spell ready. So that's like a 19 elixir push. So and that's when you sort of you know when you do well. All right, so okay, um, 24 seconds to go or to go till double elixir. I'm not really sure that's going to work out to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to have my lightning spell ready so I'm gonna throw, throw my mega minion in there just to sort of start things off to help out with any other sort of troops and uh, now we're gonna put the lightning spell on that um, inferno tower and the um, Valkyrie and now we're gonna zap that as well just because sort of you know we need to get rid of it as soon as possible and now we've got like a bit of a like thir a third of the health on, on that um, golem which is great and now we actually managed to take out this uh, princess as well he's gonna zap us that's okay and we got 49 seconds to go. We're going to put another golem down and um, start from there. I think that's going to be just enough to actually get to the tower. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to take it out, take the tower out. So we just used um, like a zap and a fireball. Um, so we're going to throw some minions in there. And we're going to throw the lightning spell as soon as we can in a minute. There we go. Nice. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Nicely done. We're going to zap that as well. Let's hopefully take out the princess in a minute as well. And come on, come on, come on, come on, go. We've got some, we've got Goblin Gang in there. We've got everything in there. We just need a bit more damage done to that tower. And I don't know if we can do it. Oh, we, I think we can. I think we can, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to fire, uh, lightning spell that. And actually, we're back in the game, guys. Seriously. I, alright, I don't know how, but we managed to do it. So, alright, back in the game. We're going to put this tombstone down to sort of distract this hog rider a bit longer. He's still going to get like a shot on that tower. Uh, I okay, nearly two shots, and so we're gonna put a golem down, start things off nicely. We're gonna throw the minions uh, to take out this Valkyrie, hopefully. Um, I don't know. All right, so Goblin Gang to take out this Mega Minion. Come on, take him out as soon as we can. And now we need a Lightning Spell again. Uh, I'm not gonna put it down this time because I feel like I'm gonna waste Elixir, and he's gonna put Hog Rider, and then I might be in trouble. So I'm just gonna put my Executioner down to sort of start things off again. And uh, we're gonna put Tombstone down. We're gonna put the Mega Minion down to take out this Hog Rider. And I think we should be alright. I think we're gonna play to a draw, and that's gonna be a pretty decent outcome, to be honest. And um, all right, let's do this. So Golem in the middle of his base. We're gonna put Goblin Gang in the middle of his base as well to sort of uh, get rid of this Inferno Tower. And look at that. That could have been the it, and we could have won that game uh, nice and easy. So all right, this was. A short video of Road to Legend. We managed to win one game and uh, draw one. So it's back to 28-31 actually. So it's not too bad. We managed to pull ourselves up a little bit and um, get to a higher level, and which is pretty good. Uh, obviously, let, let me know in the comment section below of how what you think of this new background. Uh, obviously, it's still creased up. I still need to work on it and uh, improve it as much as I can. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been your YPNT PNT Gaming. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I certainly did as always. And um, yeah, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.